And we're live. Hey, what is up, you guys? It is Tyler. Welcome to the Tyler Williams channel. We are here to watch the show of shows that is the show, The Climax. Well, not the Climax show as a whole, the Climax, you know, pre show. And there is the first wrestler of the match. Triple X. So, what are your what is your opinion on this new persona, this new character coming in Triple X? Have you seen Triple X perform? I mean, I've seen him perform this Friday, or Friday's fight night. So, honestly, I'm new to him. Care to fill me in on him? Well, as you guys know, Triple X is a former X Division champion, and awesome X. I had no idea what went through his head when he thought about this gimmick, but hey, he said, hey, I'm going to, you know, change my name, Triple X, come out, over-sexualize gimmick, and I guess it's working out for him. Looks like he went through Alejandro's closet, picked out his old ring gear, and decided to wear it out, wearing everything but the wrist tape. I wonder if Alejandro let him go through his closet or not. Question everyone wants to know. Um, my opinion, he looks like an autistic Fondango. Mm. And here, three, ten. And who was this? Oh, looks like we're having a new debut here in AWC. PJ Future. I who seen in the him. hell is this guy? Well, apparently it's PJ Future. Don't know much about this guy. I haven't really... Heard his name before, but I guess he's going up against Triple X here tonight, so it should be interesting. We got Triple X versus PJ Future as the opener to this pre-show. Woo! Fancy. Fancy indeed. I'm sorry, but I can't help to laugh at Triple X. It, it cracks me up. Yeah, I think everyone kind of wants to laugh at Triple X. Is it me or is there no audio coming from coming from the, you know? Yeah, I, I noticed that. Oh, I know why it's muted. There you go. Definitely good so far. Hasn't taken too much punishment up to this point. Up to this uh, point. They're locked up against the ropes. Uh, referee splits them apart. Into the collar and elbow tie-up. Only one competitor comes out ahead here. Yeah, this is one of the classic ways to test your opponent. Uh, triple X sent him into the ropes. Oh, look at this. Oh, he shoulder tackle. Triple X sending him down. Woo. Stop clock. Stay on the attack. Good lord, that was the house. So that would be so far off the mark. Ooh, punch to the back uh, of the head. That was disrespectful. Roster is crowded around the monitor. Veteran what? Comes out victorious. Oh my gosh! What a slam! Ooh, and a takedown neckbreaker from Triple X to PJ Future. PJ Future, I like I didn't even phase him. Jesus Christ, this guy really is from the future. Maybe he anticipated that that move so that way he didn't it didn't hurt as much. That's the ball. Right. Future. You look before firing? What an idiot! You have to possess a different. I mean, secretly Raven Simone's long lost cousin. Joy, hurting. He can see and said future, future, thinking life might be a breeze. Let me stop. Okay. On this match. I it fits the theme of A2 Climax, which is Enter the Universe. So, PJ Future debut was spot on. This is exactly how he drew this one up. 
No, nice reversal, German. German suplex from PJ. PJ Future. I'm I'm pretty impressed so far by this PJ Future. Ah, uh, he's doing okay. It's not not seeing anything too too impressive right right now, but. I mean, he's got good mat work. Wow, well, yeah, he does have that. I'll give you that, but <laughs> nothing. That's what you call swinging. Yeah, I can give you that. Yeah, it's showing the technical, technical standpoint. Nothing too impressive just yet, though. Well, they couldn't find a home for that. Do. Certainly wasn't due to a lack of trying, Michael. Ooh, Ooh. nice takedown from nice STO. Alex. What the hell was that? I don't know that? what he is, but hey, why not? Right? Finds in a match of this magnitude. I am joined by my very crappy intern. Physical condition I've ever seen him in. Young Dev. What's up, Young Dev? The assistant to the assistant to my assistant is here. Not assistant. He's an intern. Different. Oh. It's in the same ballpark, but it's not the same thing. One day he will fill my shoes, but that oh one God. day is not coming until the day I die. So you want to worry about that for a long, please, long, please, long, uh, long, long time. Please, please. I hope Tyler never dies because that's going to be a really boring. <laughs> well, see, the fact that you have false hope for yourself is just one point. Of okay, anyway, on to the match. We got Triple X versus PJ Future. Debut of PJ Future. Oh, and another money shot from Triple X. Be there. Look at this. Oh, I now the ladies here with this move. I can't say much about this match because I don't know who either one of these That's are. it. He's done. Triple X is the gay persona of Awesome X. Oh. Damn. And he breaks the cover. And PG Future just made his debut. Not enough. Not done. Wait, why is my best friend gay? I wouldn't say gay, more of an over-sexualized type of character. I'm going to win this one outside the ring. Look what the man is wearing. <laughs> like I said, I believe Mr. Alejandro gave the closet and picked those out because I could have sworn I've seen Alejandro put her out for before. Minus the wrist tape. Complete domination here. Oh, looking to make a statement here. Turn switch from PJ Future. He'll be all over here. Look at a catch of one, two. Uh, Where's Taka and Franklin? I've actually been here that heard from P normal fans of PJ oh, that that, that kill switch is called Into the Future. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or that's yeah. a fan name or something. I don't know. Seems kind of interesting. I've also heard from the backstage that PG Future. Is the few is the um former hardcore cowboy Paul Harwood? Now, many of you will not know who he is, but dating back to the old old company before EWC, that was no DQ. Paul Harwood has been in the company for a while. You just haven't seen him in EWC yet. But now, one of the oh, new two originals is in AWC. Again. What? This is gonna be brutal. Yeah, that back is in bad shape. Two no DQ originals in this call. Devlin being. I know DQ is an own Rusty being one. Are we hitting it? He's called, he's called this the Future Shock DDT. PJ Future hits it. That's how you put away an opponent. Two, three. And here's some highlights from the match. Debut here by PJ Future. Definitely show his. I can't believe what we just saw. Highlight after highlight. <clears throat> what do they call this, Rusty? What do they call this blue switch again? Into the future. Oh, they Call oh, this move the future shock DDT. Why that from the chosen one, Drew McIntyre? 
Best theme song in WWE history. Here's a win here for PG Future. I could see a bright future for this guy. Really? You had a telly. Hey, it was in setup. That, why do you think they call? Why do you think this guy calls him PJ Futures? Probably why he calls himself that. So that would be use that pun. Obviously, match here. What is this? Another debut. What is this? Who's this? Oh, oh my boy. God! Oh my no! God! No! 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 The debut of the Andre line. We've seen many teases here in AWC about this guy, and he's finally making his debut. This is not a highly anticipated debut. This is not at all. It was a highly anticipated debut. This is a, a debut we didn't want. Nobody wanted to see this guy. Everybody wanted to see this guy for months and weeks. We've been clamoring to see this guy. We finally see him here. Ladies From the and nearest and nightclub. Standing at a height of 5 foot 11, weighing at 200 pounds. Oh my so god. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're, if you're hearing cheers right now, that means that uh, I can confirm the AWC on the audio. And you have, um, what about you busting out there? You can't be impressed by the guy. You know, I endorse this, man. We know you endorse oh, him. Oh, oh yes. 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 No. Oh. I say endorse it. Never mind. Yes. And you're pushing the ring. Oh. Oh. From Minneapolis, Minnesota, we need a 200. Okay, Kid, kid Rush, you was originally supposed to face this man. What a reaction from the WWE. I'm not going to push you off this young man. Real trade model, and I know you feel the same. I hate K. They're the same person. But okay. You don't see a compete here all day. Every single one he has, he has a dominant performance. He's facing guys like Cal, like Curtis Strong, like DJ K. Like he's saying that he's faced all the top guys and tonight. Uh, I don't think he's trying to make a game go up the Andre Lion. Perfect choice for an opponent for DeAndre Lion. Ladies and gentlemen, I guarantee you. The Broncos are going to choose anybody if they decide to choose DeAndre. So. I can guarantee this is going to be DeAndre's first and last match in ABC. Give the guy a chance. I'm sure he can hold out a few minutes before. And there's the bell. Oh, man. Am I ready for this? Boom! Suplex City, bitch! Or maybe a few minutes. A few... A few seconds, you mean. Here it goes. A few minutes. Nope. You have to get excited at one. See, the kid has more, more fight than you think. Anyone could have given up on Brock Lesnar. Hell, I probably would have given up on Brock Lesnar. I would lay down. I would lay down as soon as the match started, so now he can pin me. I couldn't even get beat up. But hey, the yeah. Andre Lion is stupid. The WWE superstar that is scheduled to face. I want to say his debut is gonna be worse than any other debut in the history of AWC. More powerful than the power bomb by Brock Lesnar. I, think I would prefer to see Tiana's personal interviewer Trent wrestle than DeAndre Lyon. He's handling you with move after move. One more powerful than the next. That's the sure fire right here. They're not the yeah. biggest fans of DeAndre Baker. I can assure you. Everyone in the back. I see a lot of make Mike, you sound like you're underwater. Tears in their eyes was waiting for the debut of DeAndre my God, his body's been through Quit hell. Quit lying to yourself. No one wanted DeAndre Lyon. Get a this doctor out here. That's a pretty much. And nobody. Brock was outside of the ring. And a point of the brain was going to be a big up Brock. Jesus. Star will need to stay away from Lesnar's power. Do not allow the beast to build momentum. Do not allow the beast to build momentum. Jesus Christ. Or do not let Brock Lesnar. Kill the kid, Brock. Kill the kid. 
kill the kid. Kill the kid. Remember, this match was originally supposed to be Kid Crush versus Brock Lesnar. Outside the ring is Survivor. But Kid Crush is now in the Intercontinental Championship. Take objects. When he gets going like this, there are a few better. Someone like Kelly, now come on now. A lot, from the looks of it. Oh no, Brock breaks up the count. Cole, there's no doubt in my mind that if someone is stepping in that squared circle against to distance themselves from him and not permit him to perform a series of those crushing power moves, that'll mean the end of the match for sure. And what sends Brock down to the mat? Brock back up. Wait a minute, look at this. Ooh, a back and the neck breaker. Okay. Looking for a victory, looking at momentum. You're right about that momentum. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry that yeah. you're getting towards wait, wait, wait. the presence of this man. Oh, oh, yes, boy. yes. This is, it it is, suplex this is not a fun ride for Mr. Lion here. Oh, a third suplex. Three German suplexes in a row from two Deontay. Yeah, Roy City. Yeah, Roy City. Thanks for One, coming, Deontay. Two, nine. Yeah, Roy City here. We're so excited you chose to spend your Sunday with us. In the Brock, oh, back rate. Brock Lesnar's F5. Stretched him really? Oh, take it to the back and then a Brack suplex to Brock Lesnar. Looks like DeAndre has some muscle underneath of that. No one. He has money, but right. he had enough to get Brock up for that back suplex. I'm like saying, take down. DeAndre with an arm lock to Brock. I don't know how smart this necessarily is to be locking Brock Lesnar to submission. That's the smartest thing to do. Again with the suplex. The kid's going to get destroyed. I'm going to feel bad for DeAndre, actually. I do feel bad for him. I think at any point, we all know much about this. 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 We if he can make this comeback, DeAndre is... One that stands out the most to me is Big Show. I mean, we're talking about a seventh... Brock Lesnar dominating him right now, but DeAndre... I mean, have we ever seen Brock Lesnar losing an AWC ring? Walked around pretty strong. And completely destroyed him. Brock Lesnar has been the best wrestler in the world for the last two years. He's the best wrestler in the world for the last two years. He's the best wrestler in the world for the last two years. He's lost to Curtis. Now he beat DJ. He beat him. These are great competitors. Great, tremendous. Oh my God, just sending the offer into them. Some of the best superstars for WWE have to offer. That's destroying his ribcage. It didn't right into the ring post. Brock Lesnar is an animal here. Special thing about Brock Lesnar is that you rarely see him here in AWC. Whenever you see Brock Lesnar, you know he means business. The F5, Brock Lesnar. Yeah, that's actually the first time you've seen him this season. Spectacle, the Tyler, I have a question for you about Brock Lesnar. To the other legends, the Beast has used the F5 on. Oh, so Tyler, can you see? John Cena. So, Tyler, can you see Brock Lesnar becoming an AWC champion? That was when Brock Lesnar. I don't think so. Mainly because Brock pulled those jabs. Andre, he's video. Only takes down Brock. Oh, Paul Heyman the distraction. He's not exactly. Popping up. Go for the pin again. What are you doing? Michael, did you see what just happened? I don't know what I'm saying. I don't think Brock Lesnar is going to become AWC, an AWC champion because of the fact that Brock Lesnar works on a very limited schedule here at AWC. And he only chose to work some up. Oh, never mind. Half yeah. five by Brock Lesnar. It's he's over. He's going to kick out of this. There it is. The shoulders are down. One, he's two, out two, three. He did it. What a huge win. What do you see? Putting a kid in there and people against Brock Lesnar was just a bad idea overall. So I can't fault the kid for losing. If he went up against a Rusty or a kid for us, I'm sure he would have beat them without a problem. But he went up against Brock Lesnar, so the kid didn't stand a chance for Whoa, 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 whoa. DeAndre cannot beat me. DeAndre's not even on the level of Rusty. I'm sorry, or kid, give the chance or kid, kid crush for that matter. I'd have to teach. I would have to beat the respect into that kid. 
And that bitch is a five on Brock Lesnar right to the Osprey. Well, remember, I am the one. He was the one. That uh, beat my Brock Lesnar's Brock Lesnar! And he gets the job done here tonight. Oh, so I see Brock Lesnar again in NBC. Right I haven't seen him again until freaking. You sound like a robot. Rock's a robot, what? You sound like a robot. Really? Oh, now you don't. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm really absolutely excited for this back for this match. The minor and the bank ladder match between whoa, whoa. Jade, please. Alejandro Leva, <laughs> Mark. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Why Whoa, is... Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> oh, hell no. Thank you, Tyler, for changing the name of it. Oh, my God. It's what's been here, ladies and gentlemen. You see an overrated piece of shit that does not know how to do his job properly that needs to hurry up and retire. You know, you cannot call him overrated. He has won the championship multiple times. Like, he you cannot beat, call Adam no, Elias overrated. He beat a broken man for that title. He is a no, coward. Even, after, even before that, he has won multiple championships here at AWC. You cannot call him overrated. I can't. I Look did. at that smirk. Here comes the man who hasn't won any championships at AWC. But he can't borrow won a championship with that gateway that is my inner bank. Here comes Mark Jernigan. And how is Adam Belaz allowed to compete in this match if he's already a champion? Oh, see, Rusty, this is a minor in the bank match, which means you only can go for the Ali Continental, the X Factor, or the X Division minor But in Alejandro's case, it could mean something else. The only racist would think that. Yeah, that's my fault. Alejandro said, oh my god, minor in the bank. <laughs> what, you gotta climb over a wall, too? <laughs> that one's racist ass. No, it's not even what I'm talking about. What do you guys see winning this match? It's, it's kind of very hard to call, really. What do you guys see winning this match? I got my money. It's not going to be OJ Blaze. I think the kid is coming up from that mid-car mafia run that he had. He was in the back, he was in the background all the time. He made a name for himself in this tournament, and I think this is his time to win, to win the minor bank. I'm going to... I can't believe I'm going to say this. Uh, what? I have to go with. It hurts me to say this, but I have to go with. I have to go with. Adam Belaz. Adam? Yeah. It hurts me to say that. That's a pretty bold prediction. I'm going to disagree with you there. I'm going to go Adam too, but you got to forget Adam is six foot nine. Over 300 pounds. So climbing up that ladder probably won't be the easiest thing for him to do. What about you, young dev? Well, there are a lot of great competitors in this match. Well, I'm going to have to go with um, Alejandro. You think Alejandro's going to become the first ever two time Money in the Bank winner? He might. He might. He want, he, you know how badly he wants to reclaim the title that is named after him. After all, the way he won that title was through Minor in the Bank. He won the first ever Minor in the Bank ladder match. This is not only my Alejandro's 
fourth Minor in a Bank, the second Minor in a Bank ladder match. So this is his fourth time entering in a Minor in a Bank ladder match. So he has ex more experience than anyone in this match. That that makes him a favorite for sure. But you really got to think, Adam. Is a big man. It's going okay, to be a So, what do you guys been thinking of this new Alejandro we've been seeing? I feel like this Alejandro is more ruthless. I haven't seen more of a ruthless side from Alejandro than I am seeing now. The whole was happy go lucky Alejandro, then it was like smirky, sassy, egotistical. Now it's more like a ruthless side that we're seeing here. <laughs> No comments? Okay. I don't like it. I, think more, I don't think many people like her. And here comes yeah, my don't. pick to win this match. Jay Blaze. I don't like Alejandro because he's trash. This. Here's the man. This could be interesting. You have two thirds of the of the mid card mafia in this match. Here's the guy who is very very talented in a ring. He's debuted. He's been in ABC since WrestleMania one. Even before, if you don't count his debuts, right in ring debut, he's been in the company since Royal Rumble. Ever since then, he's been a background player in a company. He's really been. F fiddling in a mid card with the wrestlers. Then here comes mid card Mafia. You think he's going to get a push? You think he's going to have that chance? Yes, he's won the X Factor Championships, but he didn't go any higher than that. Dane, X Factor Champion, and Tag Team Champion. Alejandro, Ale Continental Champion, X Factor Champion, and Tag Team Champion, Limitless Champion. Jay Blaze does not have much to show for that. So this is his chance, I think, to shine. He's going to win my Iron Bank, and he's going to catch him on Ale Continental Championship, which he. I think he should have won, and I think this is his, this is his time to shine. Been watching you at night. Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen. I've, I've never seen this side of Stoner ever. Tyler, what is your input on this? Oh, he has his mic muted. Never mind. No input from Tyler. It doesn't get any better than this. It's the money in the bank ladder match. Don't be surprised at all if these guys attempt to one-up each other in this one. Oh, that headlock's on tight. Nicely executed. Oh, they couldn't find a home for that one. Well, it certainly wasn't due to a lack of trying, Michael. Just making his presence felt well, we're on the move here. Definitely looking good so far. Hasn't taken too much punishment up to this point. Talk about catching a beating. Man, oh man, did he take a wild swing with that one. Good Christ. Wild indeed. Good thing we're over here. Good night. Bam. Boy, I'll 
here. You have to be able to think on your feet lightning fast. One mistake, one moment of hesitation, and you can find yourself in a world of hurt. Oh my God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Looks like somebody is like destroying somebody on the outside. Shockwave set down the spot. Seems to be Jay Blade. This. Look at him squeezing. I wouldn't want to be in that headlock. That was rough. Back into the ring now. Yeah, this is good. This is where the action needs to be. Oh, wow. How's that for the song? Now that's how you make a statement. Oh my, get the medics down here. Somehow, he's kicked it into another gear here tonight. Boy, he just got laid out. He wasted too much time on that one. Oh, and he lands that one right to the head. Well, we're on the move here. Ow, oh, I'm not sure I can watch this. And he fails to connect with anything that time. Man, that was some miss, all right. I could feel the breeze all the way over here. Here we go. Back inside the ring. What do you mean we? We're still, there's no recovery from that. He's having a seriously hard time getting back to his feet after that. I think it's oh, my God, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I've never seen this side of Stoner before. Me either. It's... It's, sorry, I haven't been talking. I'm just in awe. He's destroying everybody in sight. Oh my gosh, this is awful. I'm gonna tell you something. Adam, you like the that. fact that Adam Belaz is See? in this match makes me sick, and it, you can obviously tell he's gonna win. That next gotta be hurt after that. He'll be feeling the effects of that for a while. All right, back, ladies and gentlemen. I have to take a quick bathroom break, but I have returned. And I don't think I've ever seen this side of Stoner before. Come back to see a very scary side of Stoner before. Very simply reminding him. Lights out. Malevolence. I feel like I mixed two words together. Back in. Oh my gosh. Oh, Stoner there with that ladder. He's going. Oh, he just hits Adam and. Oh, Adam's taken down. Get here. Oh, Today, yes, fired. I want everyone to attack Adam right now. Today, the more just, Adam oh, gets hurt, the better the my chances. Oh, you missed that one. Oh, that springboard clothesline and Jay's back in the ring. I was six Wait, later in the now, ring. Now. Tyler, I have a question. Hey, What's your question? Oh, Adam's inside the ring now. Well... What happens in the case if Adam somehow gets injured in this match? Whoa! I think that one made the entire building shake. Yeah, the first injury is. If the injury is not that harsh, you hold on to that title for at least a month. If it's harsh, then he has to drop it to the baby's feet. Wow. If he keeps this up, this could be over quick. He's a and start of getting right back up from the hip from the ladder. Jesus Christ! That the ladder it didn't even affect him. And he gets hit again, and he's getting straight back up like that ladder hit didn't affect him again. Jesus Christ. What an attack. Take it from me, there's never a good place or a good time to get hit. WWE's not like other sports where you call a time out. One of the first times you ever seen interaction between David and Mark Jernigan, a match that everyone in ABC's been clamoring to see. I myself have been waiting to see this match, and look, these two are going at it again. Now back to David the and Mark Jernigan facing off with the gentlemen. Something we've all oh, won. complete domination here. Looks like Jay and David are one standing up right now. Stoner's back up. Mark's back up. Backstabber takes down Mark Jernigan. But this, gonna... this is a minor and a big ladder match. We have Jay, what? We have Jay Blaze, Adam Balan, Alejandro Leva. I, I think it's the David already. Mark Jernigan and Stoner. Uh, we've been joined by someone. I don't know who this is. That is the one and only Rap King, Derek Freeman. Let's see. Uh, yeah, so that back in the mix this match is taking... Stoner, he's going at Mark Jernigan. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Adam falls onto the steel steps, and Stoner just goes smack dab onto the ropes. 
That'll rearrange your spine. What? Adam just took a nasty fall onto the steel steps. Jesus Christ. Honestly, that benefits me even more. The more Adam gets hurt in this match, the happier I get. Yeah, what if I lock? This has got completely out of control. Oh, this Just getting to work. It's on to the woman. I think Jay Blaze is going to send the ladder. I think this thing's going to ladder now. So nope, Mark takes him down. Or that. These sticks are the best, Candy. Right here. I don't know how much more of this that back can take. Well, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. Nobody likes orange pixie six out of the worst. Used to massive damage. I don't like how slow he is to react right now. Yes, Stoner, do all you need to do. What happened to you? You used to love being outside the ring. We're going to add him here. How effective this might be, but I. Tired now. That takes. Oh, Adam. I mean, I Adam. So, Darren, who is your. Who's your overall pick to win this match? Oh, She'll be back once more, guys. The this is the time we make. Opportunistic offense here. Back into the ring now. Yeah, this is good. This is where the action needs to be. Oh. Jesus Christ. We're looking at complete domination here. Oh, out here you have to be able to think on your feet lightning fast. One mistake, one moment of hesitation, and you can find yourself in a world of hurt. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. As Rusty had to leave to go do something, I am here by myself, I guess, now. It needs to be. Oh. Oh, my God, Rusty. What? Alejandro with the kick off the ladder, but Alejandro fell himself. That was amazing. If you take enough shots to the back of the head sooner or later, you're going to be seeing stars. Yeah, or at least looking up at the lights. Look out! Oh, that'll knock the wind out of you. Back. More damage with the ladder. Oh, I'm the last getting rocked with the ladder. How much more? What? I know. Tell me something. This is unreal. What David move for? I don't know what they call that move. Razor's Edge. Razor's Edge. Back in the ring now. Yeah, let's just see how long they can keep it. Oh, well, I hunter falling on the ladder. Oh, this is not fair! Oh, I'm my brain oh. again! Match. Dear, oh my god. can't believe this is still going on. This has reached the point of savagery. Oh, Adam. Adam not... now going as stiff as a board. Adam out of it. This is a level of destruction. Right. No. The announcement part, um, Jay Blaze over there is. The more punishment he takes... No, that's Alejandro, excuse me. ...getting back to his feet. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Well, I don't blame him. Keep the action in. Oh, big, big, big clothesline there by Adam Bellows. His body has to be broken right now. You have to possess a different type of... Oh, and did you hear the impact? Look how slow he is to recover here. That was some serious punishment. Back between the ropes. I'm the bottom of the bottom. The yeah, I'm the ladder from under the ring. I, I think this is good strategy. Got a couple ladders. Oh, right to the bird, dude. We got a couple ladders. Wow, he's still down after that. Took 16 to avoid that. Thank you for closing out your room. Is that Al Crawford? Don't call his name. Don't call his name. How do you know? Stoner with a powerbomb off of the ladder. 
Back in the ring now. Yeah, let's just see how long they can keep it in the ring. Oh, they outside the ring. Inside the ring again. Yeah, and they oh, shoot. Oh, that is. To needs to be. Look out. Uh, DJK? Oh, wow, DJK DJ isn't in this match. What are you talking about? My phone, I can't see. Like, my phone was, like, small, so I can't see the faces, really. Okay. <laughs> Dirty in there. It's a great athlete. Such a, an important superstar. Right, the lights just flickered on and off, and now everybody's in different places. Watch out here. Jeez, Buster. He needs to recover here. That was some serious punishment. This match has taken so much out of this guy, he's not going to give up. But, man... This had been physical. Slam. Oh, his entire building just moved. Man, you're right. That shook the arena. At this point, you think you'd have that move well scouted. I'm not sure I can watch this. Wow. He's still down after that. Oh, his body has to be broken right now. Oh. Oh, no. He's going win it. Wait a minute. Uh -huh. What is he uh -huh. doing? What is he doing? What he jumped doing? off. He jumped off. No, no, no. no Jump. No, no. Oh, oh boo. No. Whoa. What are you doing? No, Plex on the turn. Well, you tried to calm it. Oh, but here comes David. Oh, man. Oh, man. He looks like off the ladder. But David knowing. Want to do this outside the ring. Well, I don't blame him. Keep the action inside the oh, ring. Oh, oh! Oh, wow. Well, that messed him all right. Hey, did you look before firing? What an idiot. Right to the kisser. That demented stoner. Oh, clearly on a mission here. He's making a win. He's making a win. Somebody stop me. Stoner! Oh my god! Oh no! Stoner would win this. Please, we do. Oh, he's dead. Anyone but him. Let me tell you this. A lot of men that win deserves it, but man, I, 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 I guess he, I guess he deserved it more. Because he went for it more. He's not going to win. But still, happy fun. Definitely. Any quick about this match? We've seen a completely different side of Stoner in this match, and I like it. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen, Tyler Williams versus Jin Kaze for the AWC Woo! Championship. This match, I wanted to see. The Balls versus a legend. This, this, this is this match, a Balls versus a legend. This should be a great match. But as you can see, Tyler got no end ring ability like Jin Kaze got. Hey, Tyler Harry hardly better be in matches. But hey, he's the boss. He got a lot of stuff up his sleeve, as everybody knows. But on the other hand, he's a legend. He put on great performances, legendary performances. I don't think Tyler would take a win over the legendary um, Jen. But you never can count him out. And it is for. A -A World. Oh, she always gets it wrong. A W A what? What? Introducing the challenger. Philadelphia <laughs> champion Tyler Williams. Champion. Oh. Now let me tell you this right here, Tyler. He like he like take control. He's a boss. He can wrestle. Actually, he's he, he's an okay wrestler. You know, we don't see we don't see him as in a ring as much, but he's a great wrestler. But you gotta know, look at the fact that when he last time he got in the ring. Who was that? Oh, I don't remember. 
But uh, uh, he, he did a little good performance last time he got in. What do you think about Tyler Williams, Devin? I don't like him, but he is the boss, and he's not that great in the ring, but he cheats to win, so... Yeah, it pretty much said it. You summed it up all right there. <clears throat> I don't know, man. I'm hoping Jin Kaze is going to come out with the rain. I really do, but I think it's going to be Tyler. There you go. Darren, Devlin, Tom Cersei. <laughs> Crazy. Down, down, down. Down, down, down. Down, down, down. SD1. And only. Kazi. Now this man right like, here, yeah, he is the world heavyweight champion. This person right there, he is a legend. He got regiment all over him. And he's a well hell of a performer. That's why they call him a champ. That's why he is a champ. Even if he didn't have that belt, he'd still be a champ. Like so I'm telling you, oh, I hope it'll be a great match. This is going to be a great match because Jen, Jen Kazi in here. But the one thing I watch for him is his striking. Actually, it's knee striking. And as you can see, throughout this match, you won't, you won't hear me say, let me see those knees, let me see those knees, let me see those knees, let's see them. AKA, he got the mission knee strikes. What do you think about that costume, Devlin? About he's how he's striking. He's an amazing wrestler. He's an com amazing competitor here in AWC. He is a legend. Can he add more to his storybook career and this? match we'll find out so much anticipation and it all comes down to this one of the most Robert highly King. anticipated match of the climax tyler williams versus jim kaze and there's oh, a get it that you can show someone who's not going tie up oh tyler being technical jim kaze quick with reversal take it to the back of tyler working for control i can't help it he was risking it. Like me and two Jim back. Oh, Jim quick to get up. Oh, headlock. Great time for wrestling to start off this match by two men. Uh oh. Tyler with the upper hand. Siege of holding a singles title certainly hasn't been lost. Just look at the ferocity in which these two are competing. This is the time to shine, Michael. So much Ooh, on the top. Take Jim Cosydale. Dream of being in this position. Oh, ref breaks it up. Oh, Jay Cosby. The charity stuff by Jay Cosby. He got no respect for the boss. Tyler, still with the Tyler Carter and Tyler. Oh. Not every move is just Arm drag. Oh, Jay Cosby just looks at him. Ooh, Tyler punches to the face. Oh, he grabs the neck. Ooh, scoops in Oh, the vicious stump to the torso. Another one. Oh, oh. many matches when you're competing at full health. Now it's entirely been this technical. Oh my gosh! Oh, a punch to the face by Jakazi. A drop it, kick by it, Tyler. Tyler got some really good offense. I think I doubted Tyler like a lot about how his Embry performance. I think his Embry performance has improved a lot. Taking to the Kazi. But you cannot compare him to the likes of Jin Kazi, who is an absolute legend in the city. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say as the start of this match of the offense was good. Do a great job of avoiding any serious offense. That'll go a long way as this one progresses. <laughs> Man, he might need to get a new identification photo taken after this one's over. You're not kidding. After this one's over, his own mother won't recognize him. 
The repetition on that move is becoming deliberate at this point. Six! Take it down with a beautiful suplex. See what kind of response we'll get. Yeah, I'm telling you, that suplex was perfect. I have a feeling we're going to see several more demonstrations like that before the night's over. I am back. Thank you for coming. Uh, oh, you missed the whole beginning of this match. Yes, I did. Between the oh, the beginning of the match. Man, he's still down after that move. I almost wonder if his bell got seriously wrong. I'm going to get Manny Enzo on it. World Championship right now. Tyler with the whole powerbomb. Yeah, yeah, where was I coming to this match? Over these past few weeks, he's been, he's been training for this match against Jim because he knows what's at stake here. This is not just... The ABC World Championship online. He has to establish that he is bigger than Jin. Jin has gone on to say that Jin is above Tyler in every sort of the way, wrestler and backstage. But Tyler has to prove something to Jin here. Well, uh, if, you, if you ask me, Jin Kazi, he, he he like I don't know, like he's tied to the ball. And Jin, if Jin Kazi be, he don't want he don't want to get buried. But hey. Nick Cosby is better than Tyler all the way. I want to see serious jeopardy here tonight. I don't think I've ever seen a more determined challenge. I think Tyler has been doing a lot of training this weekend, this past few weeks, and I think Tyler I think Tyler knows what to expect when he's facing Jim Cosby here. Wait, Jim. Yeah. Yeah, I, can, I can agree with you about how Tyler trained a lot, but ain't that amount of training in the world, especially in a week, and then you're going to be compared to Jim Cosby. Jen Kaji trained all his life. He was in great matches. He won a lot of championships. And your one week train well, until I started one week training ain't gonna do nothing compared to Jen Kaji year training. Tyler Williams will never be on the level of Jim Kaji. Bro, definitely. You can't speak too soon about never, cause as you can see, people that start off slow in their career actually speed up. You can you can look at some of these wrestlers today, like they started their wrestler real, like started their career really slow, but then be growing up to be one of the best people in their um company. So he actually can't sleep too fast on that. I'm locked in. Is y'all locked in? He hasn't locked in his jig on a tap. Shooter. Siri. He hasn't locked in his jig on a tap. Um, AWC ball person, you a little ahead of us. How am I ahead of you? Yeah, you a little ahead of us. I can't be ahead of you because we're all at the same time. Come on. I'm, I'm back. You're behind you're behind me, Tyler. Yeah. Oh power bomb there by Power Bomb by Tyler. Can it be yeah. over? Can he beat the legend? Can he? Uh oh, Kenny. Kenny. They're kicked in the neck. Oh no. He kicked him in the nuts. He cheated. He got the nutcracker having in. Uh oh! Can can get the pin over the legend? It's already the ropes. It's already the ropes. I see it. I see it. I see it. That was silly. He bought two cars. How many people could say they kicked out of the pedigree? We we can call these pedigrees because you can tell what keeps on happening. Oh, boom! Slam! Oh, the same thing Tyler did to him in the start of the match. This match has been 100 miles per hour since the opening bell. <laughs> See, he's slowing down in the future. This is a great matchup. I'm loving it. Oh, a knee to the face. Let me see those knees. Let me see those knees. Let me see those knees. Let's see them. Oh, short DDT. That one was just... Oh, DDT. Oh, man. He's going for strong win. Oh, man. He's going for the strong win. Can it be? Can he hit it? Can he hit it? Uh oh, he dropped to the knee. Is it oh, he hit it. Let me see those knees. Let me see those knees. Let me see those knees. Let's see them. Oh, Tyler kicked out. I think I'm lagging really bad. Yeah, you must be lagging because you can't you are, be. You're really far behind. 
you chose to spend your time. Yeah, I don't know why I'm lagging. I think I am. Oh my gosh, the spray buster. No, the face right into the turn button. He said it up. He said it up. Punch to the face. He's getting another out. one. DJ Collie. Another one. Oh, snap. Right to the ropes. No. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. He's going to go for the wheel cutter. Oh, oh the, the wheel cutter. The wheel cutter. Oh, shit. Can it be over? Can he end the legend? Can the legend be down for the three? A oh, one. Two. No. Kick out. Kick out. The legend is all that like resiliency. The legend ain't giving up. I don't think Tyler will do it. That flicker. Oh, the kick to the back. Light flickers. Oh, see him outside the ring. Kenny, this is going to need some serious medical attention. A crippling slam to the back. Well, we're on the move here. Today, too fast. Great match here, but if you missed any of the matches from this week, go to WWE.com to catch up on all the action. I go to WWE.com all the time to catch up on the Divas. Back where it belongs, inside the ring. Uh oh. Oh! Oh! Jim Cardi, buddy's name. Textbooks, that man. TD. If the vault left, don't don't that don't that mean the video stop? Another amazing singles contest. These two never cease to entertain the WWE universe. Craig in the yard. A singles title doesn't gain you instant entry into the Hall of Fame, but it sure gets you a whole heck of a lot closer. Uh, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to be like 15 minutes. Well, not 10 minutes. I'll be right back. But definitely keep, keep your comments and go where I'm going, okay? It's getting ugly. Devlin. Devlin. Okay. Yeah. High risk. He just commentating work up more. I'll be like 10 minutes. I don't need something. All right. All right. He's simply reminding him that he's here. Now I've got Joey Styles' pay per view as. Ooh. Flips out of it. Ooh. With the strike to the back of the head. This might be it. And now, what is he going for here? Ooh. GTS. GTS here by Jim Conte. One. Two. No, Tyler Williams gets out. Tyler Williams has more fight in him than I would have thought. Um, sorry if I suck at this. No way he could have avoided that. Um, one. The strikes to the back by Jim Gazze. What the? What happened there? Ooh, something to the torso. What is Tyler going for here? He's dragging him to the middle of the ring. Ooh, leg drop. Dropping the leg right on the head. Electric. Look at the back of my arm, Cole. Look at the goosebumps. I love this. Dan Cousy with the dragon spin. Dragon screw. Excuse me. There's no quit in these. Will it be enough for the win? Ooh, he's right. One. Two. No. Tyler Williams kicks out. Quick step me to avoid that. Stay down! By Wait a minute. It's not over yet. He's still got some fight left. 
We're looking at. Oh, wow. There's that big knee strike by Tyler Williams. Tail spin. I think it's by Tyler Williams. Tyler Williams just dominated. One. Hello, I'm back. No. I'm just tuning in. No way. Ginkaze had his hands on the roof. Ginkaze had his hands on the roof. Watch it. Watch. Ginkaze had his hands on the ropes. Tyler again shoots another victory. I'm their face in line. I've got the same event in the room. It's just a matter of time. You've got no chance. Darren, are you still here? Yeah. What the? I don't care if you're the boss or not. I really don't. Here's the thing. Jin's hands were under the rope. Without a doubt, I am not having this match misconstrued into another person's favor, whether it is an asshole or a douche. I need this match immediately restarted. Yeah! He knows where he is right now. Adam Belaz, wow. Nobody comes back from this. He's straight by Jinkase. This could do it, maybe. One, two, three. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. That's why they call him a legend. That's exactly why they call him a legend. Knee. I'm still knee. I'm still knee. I'm still knee. Let's see him. What's this? After that amazing announcement by by uh, Adam Belaz. Wow. Continental Championship to keep us for sure. Goodness. Is it just me or my shit lagging? We, no, is my house by the way? It's frozen for me. Oh, it's not perfect for me. It's frozen because the show's over. Oh. Uh, what's up, you guys? It is High Local TV. We see 
Oh, this is an ABC Vlog Channel. It's Tyler Williams Channel. This was the Climax pre-show. Not the show, but the pre-show. And as always, the pre-shows of each show was always great. I'm here with Young Dev. Yo. And hey, what's up, Mr. Mary and I'm tuning in here for y'all. This is the Climax. Make sure you tune in, even though the it was the pre-show. The Climax is tomorrow. This was Climax is tomorrow. I boxed it. Leave me alone. Botch. That box. He boxed it. <laughs> Shut up, Devlin. Devlin. <laughs> Devlin. That's not how you say my name. I don't care. Go, go back to hell. Go back to hell. Okay. So, That's the first cool. match here was a debut match. It was the debut of PJ Future as he went up against Triple X. And what was a Pretty, it was a pretty decent debut. Wasn't anything impressive. Mm-hmm. Wasn't bad. We'll give this a solid six. They weren't here for us, so I'm the only one who really could rate it. And then the next match, I believe Devin was here for, was the. the I was the there for the PJ Future match. Oh, you were? Yeah. Okay, I was too. So. Darren, you weren't there. As I was. Well, if you were there, why didn't you say anything? I said three. I'm talking about devil. Elaborate, devil. Well, Wait. PJ Future. Uh, this is a great performance by PJ Future. Uh, looks like a very bright star star here in AWC and uh. A very bright future. Shut up. <laughs> One could say the future looks very bright for PJ. There. But then we have DeAndre Lyon versus Brock Lesnar, and it's the debut match for DeAndre Lyon that nobody wanted. Everybody wanted to see the debut. Yeah. Nobody Literally, no one wanted to see DeAndre Lyon. Everyone wanted to see DeAndre Lyon. I was there to endorse. I wasn't there to endorse him, but behind the scenes, I was endorsing the hell out of DeAndre Lyon. No one was, but I was. I had his back during that match with Brock Lesnar, even though DeAndre, I mean, what do you expect? You made your debut against Brock Lesnar. What were you expecting to happen? Can't say I was going, think going in this match. I can't say I was winning. unimpressed by the kid. He did put up a good fight against Brock Lesnar, but he did lose. That's I'm not taking that away for all. I mean, I'm sure if you went to a match with Brock Lesnar, you would lose too. Well, As a matter of fact, you were supposed to face Brock one. Lesnar, and I'm sure the re- same exact result would have happened if you were in the ring with him. Yeah. But DeAndre was in the ring instead. He that L. Brock Lesnar came out with a victory, his first win in season two, probably his only victory. Steroid you know, City. Lesnar likes to show up every City. once in a blue moon. Steroid City. And then the next match was the Miner in the Bank ladder match. It was a match between... What the hell is Devlin doing? I don't know what Devlin is doing, but... It was a match between the six men that were Jay Blaze, Mark Jernigan, Adam Balaz, Alejandro Leva. Don't call his name. Don't call his name. Alejandro. What was the other guy? Oh, ow. Who's the other guy? The other guy, the other guy, the other guy. Don't call me, don't call me, buddy, I'm drunk. Mark Jernigan, again, it was Adam Malaz, it was Alejandro Leva. Uh, why am I forgetting the other guy in this match? David and Stoner, but it wasn't Stoner, it was a altar of Stoner, demented Stoner. It was a very vicious and ruthless version of him. Very scary of that. I felt like every time I saw Stoner in this match, he was always beating someone up. And when he wasn't beating someone up, he got knocked down. He got straight back up like it was nothing. This was a great match, as many Money in the Bank matches are. Even though for the first time, I would not say Money in the Bank was match of the night. I would give it to the main event, but we'll give it to the main event in a minute. We saw a side of Stoner we had never seen before. Yeah, very, very, uh, very Amazing. scary side of Stoner. Very destructive side of Stoner, and he showed that in this match as he got knocked out many times and just got straight back up like it was nothing. He saw many people got suplexed off the line, well, not many, but he saw a very dangerous spot 
for Jade Lee suplex Mark Jernigan off of the ladder onto the turnbuckle. Pretty much broke Mark Jernigan's whole spine. Don't know how Mark Jernigan is able to walk after that, but hey. You know. Vertebrae oh, game. Is me. Into the jungle. So, the winner of this match was Demented Stoner, who is now the minor in the bank briefcase order and can cash in on either the x Division Championship, the Limitless Championship, the x Factor Championship, or the Ali Continental Championship anytime until the next minor in the bank match. Okay. So Stoner came out the victor of this match and joins the lineup with Jen Kaze, Alejandro Leva, Brandon Andrews, and A Star, and the Dynamites of people who have won money in the bank. That's a very mixed group of people. Well, I've been, there's been six when they make a lot of matches. I mean, there's been five were rumbles, too, so. Adam just takes up two of them. Anyway, so then the main events of the evening. Was Tyler Williams versus Jim Kazi? What was the best performance of Tyler Williams' career? I think we all can agree on that. He trained hard for this match and it all paid off when he pinned Jim Kazi in the middle of the ring. What? Um, no! No! Don't even say he pinned him in the middle of the ring. Jim Kazi. Okay, he pinned Jim Kazi to the side of the ring. Where Jin went and squirmed, somehow got his hands on the rope last minute, yada, yada, yada. Long story short, Adam stuck his nose somewhere where it shouldn't have been if he started the match, and then Tyler Williams ended up losing at the last second. This yeah. is a blatant screw job against Tyler Williams. No, it was this, not. Hashtag, no. this is rigged. Hashtag, conspiracy. Hashtag, I want my it's refund. Rigged. You're the Hashtag, You're in charge. I got Hashtag Tyler got screwed because I got screwed on this Hashtag match. Hashtag shut the fuck up. Hashtag I got screwed. Hashtag you got screwed. You got what was coming to you. you I got, got what you deserved. World title. I had Jen Kazi pinned in the middle of the ring. Not in the middle. To the side of the ring. I got Jen Kazi pinned. How many people could say they had Jen Kazi pinned? Who? You didn't. Listen, you didn't. It was out of the room. You know it. I know it. We know it. Two, three. He hit them at three times. I pinned Jin. Who else can Jin, say that? Jin, Adam, no, can't say that. Other, you can't right. say that. You can't say that. Darren? Never mind. The Kid Crush can't say that. David can barely say that after losing after WrestleMania. DC can barely say that. TJ can't oh, say man. that. Like, come on, I'm joining the list of people, the short list of people who pinned Jin Kazi. And I don't get any credit for it. You yeah, did. I pinned no Jin credit. Kazi. No. And before I even get a chance to have the world title in my hands, before I even get the world title in my hands, the match was eh, it was restarted because Jin had his hands on the rope. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You see, what happened was Jin was too, of a, too much of a bitch to kick out. So he's like, okay, I'm going to try to kick out. See, Jin tried to use his arm to kick out, and he used his right arm instead of his left arm, and he tapped the rope at the last second. So when the referee looked over, it looked as if Jin did hit the rope. But to Adam, it looked like Jin grabbed it, but Jin actually smacked the rope for a hot second, and it ricocheted back to the mat. But all Adam saw was Jin touching the rope and was like, oh, it's a rope break. Jin, Jin literally tapped the rope trying to kick out, but it didn't work out in his favor. So that was the story of that match. The match really started. Jin hit a strong win right to Tyler. Got the pin and retained the title under bullshit circumstances. Don't even want to hear it. Boom. Listen. And you know what, Jin? I got something for that ass tomorrow night. And you're not going to like it either. Whoa. What? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What? Whoa. Wait a minute. Hold on, wait a minute. Are, you guys want to blow out of context if you want. Blow it out of context. He said he got something for you. You say you got something for the ass. I got something for like Jin it. tomorrow night, and he's not going to like it. There. Oh, so what, what you got for his ass? Wait, what did you say? He said he got something for Jin Cosby's ass, and he's not going to like it. 
<laughs> oh, not that. Now that you repeat it back, I, I, okay. Now that you it back. It, it, it. Damn, my name. Yo, whoa, whoa. I have something for Jin Kazi that he's not gonna like, and I'm gonna make that announcement tomorrow on the main show of the climax. But speaking of the climax, let's talk about the climax. The A2 climax itself. Okay, so going into A2 climax. It was 20 men, four blocks. Walking out of this block, A block, it was a pretty dominant block. I'll Walking, be right out. Walking out of A block, the winner was DC Zam Chan. Before that, it was a tie between DC and Stoner, which we saw DC beat Stoner a second time. B block, Tyler Williams won his block clean slates. The only man who won his block clean. Then C block, you know... It was a three-way tie between DJ, KG, Blaze, and David. Ended up with DJ K stealing the win there. DJ K with those smart tactics, it's always. And then D block, it was TJ and El Bandito who faced off in a rematch in which we saw El Bandito get the win, but TJ obviously getting the better of Jim with that interference. Well, I mean, DC getting the better of DJ with that interference. So then it came down to exposition. The double ladder match was probably one of the best ladder matches in AWC history. One of the best commentary sessions ever. Which we saw DJ K pull down the briefcase first and then El Bandito falling behind DJ K. Then that brings us to the climax match card. So the match card stands tomorrow. The opener to the show will be Rusty versus Adam Balaz. And the two of best of five series for the ACW World Heavyweight Championship in a steel cage match. So what are your predictions for this one, young Taylor? Yeah. Green six. Well, should be in But I don't know, man. I'm gonna have to go with Adam Belaz on this one. I think since it's well, probably Rusty would be a good choice since it is a steel cage match and Rusty, um, he's lighter than Adam Belaz is, so he's probably going to have a much better time climbing up that steel cage. Basically, everyone wants to see Rusty hit the lunatic elbow onto Adam off the steel cage. Everyone wants to see that. I don't know if Rusty's going to be able to hit it, but if he does, that'd be sick. I'm rooting for Rusty. I think Adam might have the leverage here because Adam does have experience in a steel cage match. Drink it in, man. No, a steel cage match was how he won next in the championship. So I think a steel cage match will be how he retains the ACW World Heavyweight Championship. And then the next match is a number one contenders match for the Limitless Championship, which we will be seeing a big return during this match. Devlin, your predictions on who the return is going to be. And who do your predictions are winning this match? Well, somebody that's very active in the Facebook group of AWC, I'm going to have to go with Arizona, a.k.a. BWB. You think BWB is making this big return tomorrow? Yes, I do. What about the second guy? It's still a question mark there. We all know if it's a return or not, but what about that second guy? Uh, that could be literally anyone, you know, a Freddy the Lights guy, ham sandwich, anyone. So I'm going to, I don't know, to her. To her Williams. First of all, it's yeah. Ty here. Ty here, same thing. Second of all, Ty here is dead, so we're not going to see him wrestle ever again. It's so everyone who keeps on saying, ah, we want Ty here. Give it a rest, people. Put it to sleep. He's never coming back. <laughs> Darren Freeman. Darren Freeman, uh, we could very well see that. My names have been thrown around. We heard Dane being thrown around. We heard Nate Thayer being thrown around. We heard, uh, of course, we heard Tiger Woods being thrown around, Peter B being thrown around. We heard a lot of names being thrown around here. It could be anybody entering in this match. So we're just going to wait till tomorrow to see who is entering in. Then the next match, the co main event, is Kid Crush versus Johnny Camundo for the AWC Ali Continental Championship. So, young Dev, what are your predictions on this match? We have a not totally 100% Johnny Kamuda going into this match. So, we already have Kid Crush with the upper hand in this match. 
Johnny Camundo's left ankle was not 100% yet, so let's believe I think Kid Crush might have a target in that match. Easy target. And that I don't is know the reason why I'm going to pick Kid Crush. It's because Johnny Camundo is not 100%. He is not ready for this match. Kid Crush is going to take advantage of that and win. Uh, I think I might have to side with Johnny here. I think Kid Crush, he has a, as long as Kid Crush keeps on doing what he's doing, which is the I think that Kid Crush can very well have a bright future in ABC, future, I wouldn't say future ABC world champion, but hey, keep on shooting high. Maybe you'll achieve your dreams in maybe three years, maybe five. Okay, so then the co-main event is DC Zamchan versus TJ Shadows in a lethal combat in a cage match. This match, there's no one-sided tier one. There's a one-sided as TJ Shadows does have the Shadow Stomp band with the rules of the match. So it is kind of leaning in DC's favor, but then again, TJ Shadows is pretty much specialized in mixed martial arts, as is DC Zamchan. So there really is no this guy's upper hand unless you want to count DC not having his move banned, TJ having the ban. I think I will go with TJ here as DC has gotten the first win. I don't think DC's getting second win. It does. I'll be shocked, but hey. Darren's here. Jesus, Darren. I'm going to have to agree with you there. Uh, I think uh, TJ is the better wrestler in this case. And I think TJ Shadows is going to come up with the one. Well, Tyler now has his mic muted. Hello there. What were we talking about? Uh, we're talking about TJ Shadows versus DC Zamchan. What are your predictions for this match, Darren? Now, TJ Shadows is a great wrestler, and I can put that behind him. Um, DC, he haven't been in the ring as much as we see them in this season, but I think they put on a hell of a match. If I got a pick, I think TJ Shadows would win, especially how he's been training hard as he's been training as he would be because of his face Tyler. Everybody know that. So I just think got TJ winning. Now I don't know what to talk about because Tyler's not here. So, how's the rap game going, Darren? Good, good, good. Just made a couple tries. Oh, here we go. Night. Night. Love you. Love you. Then we have DJ K versus El Bandito in a 30-minute Iron Man match to determine the winner of the A2 Climax. Who do you think is going to win this? Oh, um, you say what? Uh, DJ K versus El Bandito in a 30-minute Iron Man match to determine the El winner Bandito. of the Climax tournament three. El Bandito. El Bandito. I'm going to have to go with El Bandito, too. El Bandito. Now. Well, uh, I think that's all the matches. I guess we just have to wait for uh, for Tyler to come back and end it. Well, we gotta wait for official destruction of Tyler D. L. Williams. Now, since he's not here, he's not listening to us. Now, what do you think about that Jim Cosby and Tyler match? I think, well, I really think I think Jim Cosby was right. Well, Adam was right from calling the match. But do you think um, Tyler deserved that one? No, not at all. Bye. I love you too, and I. I love you too. Shut up, Darren. Can I say good night? No. Please tell us good night. No, Darren. Hey, she need my love. It's my mom. Oh, my bad. I thought it was your sister. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Tell us who's say hi. No. Yes. You go tell her. Text her. Bring it here if I can tell her. Here. Go get her. Deanna!
Yes. Hello. Hey, I want to tell you hi. Devin didn't want to tell you yourself, so I had to tell you. Huh? I said I wanted to tell you hi. Okay, hi. It so, was what a, you going to Alejandro was in a match called the Minor in the Bank match. Okay. Get it? He's a minority? You're a minor. You like? Oh, <laughs> I get it now. <laughs> Why is that what Tyler thought too? That I meant by that. I didn't have to do. Do you still talk to Ale? No. Are you texting? Why? Why would you though? No, because I put on my Snapchat story, not even being rude, but you're seriously not cute. And last thing he said was thanks with a kind emoji. He always texts me things off my Snapchat story. Is that what he's talking about? I just read them. Is that what you were talking about? When? The, the what, 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 can you shut up, Darren? No, I don't, because he's... I mean, he was... So, can you text me? <laughs> How old are you? Enough. I'm leaving. He's 17. Look him up, Darren. Oh, my God. What are you guys doing? Shut up, Tyler. Stop answering. Don't tell me to shut up. Shut up, Tyler. Yeah. It's Tyler. Hey, Tyler. I'm sorry. What's up, best friend? Best friend. <laughs> Yes. Don't try and put me in some trap. No, just say hi, <laughs> just say hi back. I hear those stories. Ah, <laughs> oh, he's my best friend. Let me tell you about my best friend. And then, like, nine months later, little Jimmy's popping out. <laughs> Don't put me in. I don't want to be in that trap, that situation. So we're going to keep it as friends or better yet, acquaintances. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, I see He's my best friend. <laughs> Nine months later, little Jimmy's popping out. Do you remember? Oh, and hi, Dia. <laughs> That's my best friend. That's my best friend. Jimmy, little Jimmy, Jimmy. <laughs> Did you hear her? Did you hear what she just said? I don't know. What like, do you remember little Jimmy from Our Truth? <laughs> <laughs> I remember because I thought he was a crazy person because he used to talk to the air. I mean, he was. But... <laughs> so, so, what do you guys think is that big announcement? We're still oh. live. I hope everybody knows that. Oh, no, I so, know that. I don't think me? you guys remember that. <laughs> We're still live. Shut up, take me. On YouTube. <laughs> Alright, let's tune in the show. Thank you guys for watching this. this Thank you guys episode. for watching. Thank you for thanking the people, Deanna. You're welcome. And I will... Okay. <laughs> I will see you all later.